Hey guys, Rain Riker here, and this is Amnesia Rebirth. Let's begin. Never you mind that, continue. I haven't actually started the game, I just needed to make sure that my settings were saved. So I have not actually made it past this screen. This game should not be played to win. Immerse yourself in the world and the story. Fear and darkness are your enemies. There is a moment when you realize what the pain has made of you. In hiding, curled in on yourself, unable to show the world your face. Acting on instinct, lashing out, even at those closest to you. Time has passed, and time is a thief. It has stolen your memories. The agony has faded, but so has every precious moment of joy. You have been hollowed out from the inside, and there's nothing left of the person you used to be. But you try. You try to remember how to smile. You try to remember how to love. And one day you crawl out from your hiding place and step back into the world. And then, every day, you do what you must to survive. Afraid of planes. Salim, it's just turbulence. It'll settle down soon. Yes, yes, I know. It's hard though. You know, your head tells you one thing, but your heart disagrees. Try to sleep. I couldn't. I keep imagining what might go wrong. I know someone who can help you. And Africa, huh? Marka. Oh, I had no idea you brought him. I didn't want him to be lonely. Good for him to have an adventure, but he'll be glad when this journey's over, I think. He's had a hard life. And there's so much more to come. Alex? Sherry, oh. <gasps> Yasmin, get up here! You did this. <gasps> you believed in the turbulence, you made it real. <laughs> Stop believing! Stop believing in the turbulence! I 
Gordon. It will help, but you must try to keep calm, or it will get worse. Do not allow yourself anger. Do not allow yourself to fear. You understand me, Tassi? Look at that glowing collectible. What happened? Where are they all? That is a very good question. I swear, I thought these chairs were packed way tighter together. What are you? I have to remember. She will die. Find Salem. That's very foreboding. Oh, look at That's what. Wait a minute. This is very blurry. Are these memories? They are the memories. So this has to play into her very specific form of amnesia, I'm supposing. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. In my handwriting. I don't remember. Hold on now. Do I have an inventory? Let me take a look at that again. J for journal. There we go. Reminders. All right. Let's see what this said. I have to remember. Okay, so this is just uh, showing what's on this. I thought it was going to have like, a context or something. Ah, <gasps> yes. Press T. Oh, man. There it is. Cat tongues. Gross. Alrighty. Hmm. Well, I've crashed somewhere in Africa. Now, I am not sure if Africa is one of the... Doctor, I'm here. Doctor. I'm here. So is this all sand on the windows? Crew of the Cassandra, can anyone hear me? Hello. 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 This is Tassie. Doctor, uh. Mrs. Ritter, Salim. Is anyone there? I must puzzle quick. Maybe. I'm pretty sure these are the flight controls. I'm trying. Okay, hmm. We have found help. I am here with Yasmin. Answer, please. I'm trying. I'm thinking this is puzzle, but these aren't really moving all that much. Oh. I'm gonna really get down here. It really does not want me. Hmm. This is Dr. Mitchell. I will try again later. Ah. Uh, I was never gonna be able to do that. I see their tricks. Ugh. Alright, well, is that just sand? This feels way more destroyed and dilapidated than it should be. <gasps> Inventory. Heck yeah. Slap that in there. Ooh. Another bright and shiny day. Oh, Mother Mary. Hmm. We'll just uh buff out a few scratches and she'll be right as rain. Richer, huh? People were hurt in the crash. I was here. I think. Where did they go? Where's Salim? I mean, this is a good question. I didn't notice that I actually have. A, whoa. I have a body. I, I thought my arm was like rubber there for a second. Is that the sound of sand? What is that? Ooh. It's all right, my friend. We'll get you out. Uh-huh. 
Huh. Okay. But yeah, I remember there were a few locations where orbs we in the MDG universe were discovered. I don't remember if Africa was one of them. I know Mexico was. I forget where the first one was found. Is that a knife? In my case, left side, bandages, quickly. That looks like a knife right there, like some kind of like machete knife. What we got in here? We got sick loot. Ugh. No, Rachel. Open. This is a heavy box. Open. We got. We got a sexton. Uh, some cameras. I think these are just strictly camcorders. Yeah, one of those old funny ones. Like from Back to the Future. Been Marty records Doc Brown. We are full here. Okay, so let's recap what's just occurred. My short extension span got the best of me. God. So whether or not we remember it, we just teleported into the I've got assumed to get away from here. opposite side of the Find universe. Some proper shelter, or I'll bake. You uh, uh, <laughs> the bird. I was about to say you didn't bury him all the way. The bird was getting at his innards here. Mm. Salim. So I've been knocked out for a while. But we've no choice. We need to get them to shelter. I know. It's Salim. He's hurt. You know what he's like. Let's get him down there, then you and I can sit on him while the doc takes a look. Don't worry. The caves aren't far. <laughs> There's that memory. Caves. Caves. All right, come on. Open her up. There we go. Anything? Oh, looks like some water canisters. And that's really about it. All right, well, let's get to these caves. Just follow the rubble. Ah. It's nice to kind of get back to recording a little bit. It was a, ooh, look at that. <gasps> that's nice, a little reactive. What the hell do I have? I had that on my wrist on the plane. I don't know what that is. I'm taking this with me. But... Salim! Kick it. Salim, are you there? <laughs> nice. Can I have this? I cannot. Alright. Is there anything over here? Any secrets? Any loot boxes? I have foregone using the face cam for now. If anyone comes back from the olden days and wants to see its return, by all means, I'd be down. I am not recording with it for the time being, just so I can get that immersive first experience. Record in the dark. Get all get all cozy and spooky. But uh also, I'm having a couple hardware issues with my lights. My lights are like Wi-Fi lights or something. And uh, they are doing all sorts of shenanigans right now. I don't know why. I like how I just kind of like hover run. Do you see that? Like, I don't feel like her body bounces up and down as much as it should. I'm just kind of like kicking in the air with my legs as I hover. Hello. This is this feels very penumbra, but desert instead of snow. Is this gonna be like shut? Hello. But it's good, isn't it? People have been here. So we'll be shot with salt. Instead of dying of thirst, I agree. Leon. What? No point getting your hopes up. We're in this shit. 
Boy, that's real negative of you, Walby. Should have a little more of a positive mindset. This is disrespectful. This feels like this is a ancient cultural thing. I'm just kind of tossing a boot. For no reason. Oh, there is a cave. Oh, thank God. Okay. Well, first, let me, uh... Let me take a look here. I think we can take a look-see. Hello. Dearest Susan. Postcard? Dearest Alfie. The stories don't do this place justice. It is amazing. You've never seen anywhere as busy as the market in Algiers. The smells, the flavours, the colours, and oh, the noise. I may have picked you both up a little something. You never know your luck. All my love, always. Dad. Now, there has been some subtle uh, little pieces of context clues given by Frictional on their Twitter account surrounding this game. And it seems like there's a kind of a pseudo kind of SCP situation going on during uh, World War One. it seemed like. World War One, World War II, I, I'm forgetting the dates at this point, but basically there was a division or a military uh, platoon that had been mobilized and were investigating some like weird happenings and some there was a lot of redacted paperwork things like that and if I'm not mistaken I think this Tessa Tessie her parents were a part of that is what I was getting and this is why this is here a postcard from her father unless this is just uh, some of her belongings also does that say Weber Wasn't there... I'm, I'm trying to remember. I think there was a Weber in Amnesia 1. Descendant, possibly? Let's look. Oh, Tazi. Look at the hands. Such tiny, perfect fingers. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my little one. Well, that was sad. I wonder if Small Child is still in the picture. Right. I can manage. Come on, not far now. Okay, how how Hello? long was I in there? Did is I make there? my way back? Salim. I have a feeling I made my way back to that plane after something happened. very pretty oh yeah we've been here for a while this is uh this is a this is us Salim and me I brought this here it's covered in raspberry jelly okay well I don't recognize those last names what transcends law oh, what? What? I I had something to say to you, a whole speech, something poetic, but... You don't need to say anything. I know, it's just... <laughs> I never thought this would happen. Any of this. You and me, I would never have imagined it. Selim, there is no one I would rather spend my time with. Really? <laughs> really? Stop worrying, I'm in love with you, you idiot. <sighs> you are my heart, Desi Trianum. <laughs> Said no poetry. <laughs> Gooey romantic type. Blech. Ooh. Well, here's my medicine. Or what was it? Ugh. Hold him more tightly, or the stitching will tear. I. I am sorry. I will be still. Salim, I have you. I have you. That looked like a mortal wound. Just saying. Also, she just sketched that? That's kind of weird. Oh. Clipping models. What the heck? Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I'm I am having a feeling that Salim is no longer with us. Also, there is so many clues just popping off at every moment. Hello. So here's one of the um, the doodads of this game is we have matches. Let's light one off. Now I'm pretty sure this is just used, but I can light as many things with this. And then it's gone. So they're very last minute kind of thing. You know, last last uh, resort. Alex and Richard. Captures you both so well. GX. But I can't. I won't stay here. There's something in the tunnels, I swear it. You won't be staying. You'll be with us, and I'll take care of you. Come here. <laughs> That's probably good. Is this a life preserver? I'm gonna need it. <laughs> ah. What the? Ooh. Ooh. Lots of lots of bloody shenanigans. All right. Well, let's uh, let's start grinding through all this here. See, so we got a map. We're in the plateau of the Hager, the Hagerer. Okay. Are we? Or no, that looks like. Because it looks like they're starting in the ocean. Okay, so we're at that that little dash, right where the dashes begin from the straight line. I'm, I'm having a feeling that's where we crashed. How about this? We got. Uh, I am, where am I? I am not on this list, but Salim is a guide. Was I even supposed to be here? Am I just Why a tag along? Go? Hmm. Well, it says there's something in the caves with me here. Ooh. Let's get up this. Get some LaCroix. I need more cave loot. Yasmin, huh? Sterling Shipping Company. So we're taking something. What a beautiful girl. Is that your daughter? Yes. My father keeps nagging me for grandchildren. <laughs> Did you leave her in Paris? Yes. Is she with her grand- Yasmin, I'd like to check the Sadiola samples are packed up. Give me a hand. Of course, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, sorry, Hank. Yasmin, my daughter's dead as hell. Stop asking questions. Uh... This... My mm. darling Amanda, by now you'll know about the crash. And you'll know that our situation is a bit sticky. We're off for a walk through the desert to see if we can find a radio or a village or some other sort of help. Everyone's putting a brave face on it. But no one really knows what's going to happen. So maybe this is it. Maybe this is the last you'll hear. If it is, I'm sorry, my love. I I suppose it's my fault for wanting a big adventure. I should have stayed home after all. Please tell them both that I love them. Tell Susan that she's the best girl in the world. And tell Alfie to look after his sister. <sighs> now I'm sitting here with tears in my eyes and my hands are trembling and I just don't know what to write. I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't believe this is goodbye. I love you, my darling girl. I know in my heart we'll see each other again. Even if it's not in this life. You're Jonathan. Hmm. Are we in there? This game 
has got the value. Let me tell you, that's one of the best things I love about Frictional is they could have totally marketed this as a $60 game, and I don't think anyone would have bat an eye at it. I wouldn't think, because uh, I think Soma came out as $60 as well. <gasps> this is going to be a note-heavy episode, I think. I am Salim Hanachi. I crashed with the crew of the Cassandra on March 3rd, 1937. I and others were injured. We stayed while the rest of the crew went for help. My companions are dead now, and the radio is broken. I cannot wait alone. There is some sort of creature here. I must go after the crew as best I can. They followed the path through the mountain. I will leave signs. Tazi, if I do not find you, and by some chance you are reading this, know that you are my heart. Okay. Oh, why couldn't you wait? I'll find you. I promise. So there is, in fact, a creature down here with me. Also, do I, I only have a cap? I can only have ten of those. Ooh, there's my lean. And this is right before... Since we have the date there, I didn't notice the date on anything else, but this is... 1937 is when this crash happened. So this is like right before World War II. Monsieur Esperandio at the market, but he has no more work until next week. I know that Tazi has savings, and I know that something will come, but it is hard. It is not just two of us now. I want to know that I'm keeping them safe. This is from Salim's old diary. Oh. I'm not sure this is the best idea. This is exceptionally dark. Oh. So this is the thing with, uh... Ah, damn it. I should have kept that to turn this one on. Ah, look at these rhinoceros beetles. Look at them. Ah, they're cool. He's looking around. What a good boy. What a good boy, these bugs. Okay, come back here. So this is the, the magic of frictional oh, games. Oh, she even reacts to getting light. Is the desire to not want to push forward. I mean, we can just brute force it all day, you know, but... Really getting immersed? Uh-oh. If only I had a lantern. Something... Okay, so this is going to be a little maze segment. So let's get over here. Let's refresh. Let's see what we got. We got our memories. Uh, ooh. Little sounds. That's weird. Okay. Oh, that's better. All right, let's try this again. And I think that's a... But that was a big issue with why... Um, Amnesia Machine for Pigs didn't suffer, or it suffered a little bit, is because there wasn't as much of a reason to not want to push for. It's just a, a puzzle, a, a handful 
of enemy encounters, and that was really it. Oh, here we go. She's sleeping now. Maybe dreaming, curling and uncurling tiny fingers. I sit here, looking at her, and I still can't believe this. How can I deserve it? <laughs> Any of it. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so she's got a thing. I'm seeing this vignetting oh. creeping up here. Okay. So we gotta be careful of that, because in this game, they talked a little bit about how they want the... Whoa, what the hell? Oh, here we go. This mechanic to work. They... Oh. Okay, she's freaking out. Is there light over here? There is. Ugh, close that. I couldn't take much more of that. It oh. reminds me of somewhere else. It feels a bit like the shrine at Douvres. Back home. Well then. It's light and that's what matters. Can I break this? Oh yeah, I can. Oh, sick. Matches. Okay, seven. I can pick up one more pack. Oh. I can pick up one more after that. Anything in here? What's this? Hear my plea. Is there anything else? Well, it's like okay, that's everything. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna chill out here, but so ooh. Let's not do that. So, the gimmick is, I believe, I haven't seen how it works yet, but if you die, it affects the story. And so, the, the worse you do, the worse end overall you get. So, you gotta be careful. I hate not being able to see. Okay. Let's, uh, look at this a little bit. Ah. <sighs> That's good. Okay, moving on. Moving on fearfully into the dark. Ooh. <sighs> Once more into the darkness. I see light though. <gasps> oh. What was that? Oh, that doesn't look good. Careful. Okay, we can we got this. Alright, just look at those lights. Look at that. Nice and bright. We got this. There's something down there though, I can hear it. Don't you do that. I can do this. Yeah, I knew you were gonna do that. You son of a bitch. Oh. oh god. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wake up. There's something. My eyes. No. What? What's wrong with me? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. There's some light over here, Tessie. Tessie? Tessie? Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Right in there. Right away with the monsters. What is going on? Uh, 
Whoa, who, what, huh? <gasps> what? What the hell is wrong with me? And it just goes away. I hulked out. All right. This isn't where I... How did I get here? Oh, what did light. I do? You shrunk down to small size and you crawled through this hole. It's gone now completely. Okay. What is this stuff? This rock is just floating. Vibranium. It vibrates. Vibranium works very differently in this universe. There, moving on. Yeah, more of it. So they're really just plunging, just. This is... Uh-huh. So we're just right in there. We are just, just jumping right into the other dimension. Is that what this is? Do these, these magnetic rock things kind of signify? That's what I'm getting. They signify that there's hey, voids or whatever. How are you doing? Christ's name. How could I leave him? I know. I know it makes sense, everything he said, but... But it's such stupid fucking self-sacrificing bullshit. Listen. I know Selim. And I know you. I know what you're capable of. He'll make it. And you'll get back to him even if all hell stands in your way. I'm so fucking scared. I know. Huh. Alrighty. Hush now, lullaby. Close your eyes for sleep is coming. Hush now. Lullaby, Papa's here, so don't you cry. Sleep well, Alice. So we are super heavy on the narrative right now. So this is after Soma. Oh, Someone's been here. Hello? Anyone? I kind of figure they're gonna go this route because the whole thing with uh, Amnesia Dark Descent is it, the narrative I felt was very light, uh, which was very successful in making you feel more like the person, which I'm hoping this game doesn't suffer from that. Just because, okay, hold on here. So we got those rocks. Oh yeah. This is so strange. Well, let me, Oh. 
Okay, I feel like that's the way of progression. So let's take a look in here, see what we got. Because this is some otherworldly shenanigans. What happens if I put this away? Okay, so they just open and close, even if I don't have the thing out. Huh. So I'm, uh, this is where I believe Alexander in the first amnesia was trying to get to. shame to uh, have your character feel scared for you where Soma is kind of more of a, a true I don't know I would call it, I want to call it a psychological horror but all the amnesias basically are but there's more of a player experience in the first amnesia versus like Soma where a lot of the psychological horror is in questioning your consciousness and Soma. So before I go over there, what's this? We got a, okay, so this is just a torch thing. Okay. The, the horror in Amnesia was much more about hiding from the spooky monster. And that's just, that's just hack. God. Man, look at this place. It's, it can't be real. Yeah, this is another space. Alexander's vacation home. I love what he's done with the place. So this is really interesting, because this is not the first time we've kind of seen... This is the first time we've seen, like, an official look of the other side of the portal. Assuming this is the... Ugh, get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Get all this stuff out of my way. Um, there's an Amnesia custom story. Um through the portal that was like a really, really big one. Uh, that was kind of like the first kind of look at it. And I wonder if it was kind of a, I honestly wonder if it was kind of a tone setter for this because it's got kind of like the same color schemes, I feel like. Same color schemes, same kind of architecture going on. Or not architecture, but like geography. Thank you, Earthquake. There. So we're just gonna try to get right on off of this. Well, there's that screenshot. My bracelet. It's glowing again. Ooh. Where is it? There you are. Okay. So very much just looking at that thing. Okay. What about over here? Any cool stuff? No? Alright. Let's really... Let's take a, a survey of our... Of our surroundings here. I see... I'm pretty sure that's our path right there. Everywhere. 
There. She does not like being over there. So, there's the orb, clearly. But we got a very human architecture going on here. And if I remember correctly, I believe the story goes in the first amnesia is that Alexander loses his wife or his betrothed of any kind to this dimension or she just died outright and he was convinced, ooh, icky. He could find her over here. So I don't know if this is like the underworld or if Alexander was mistaken in that. We got a note here, though. I must explore, for I must find a way to return. But stepping into the fog is like stepping into a deep water. I am lost in a sea of whispering confusion. I need something to shut them out. Are they dead of this place? Are they the dead of this place? Or only my own paranoia? My strategy is to focus myself, clear my thoughts, step in, and survey as swiftly as I may, then return. It will be slow, but I fear it is my only chance. Okay, so there's creepy crawlies around here. But he had, like, some food. Is this one of my guys, though? Oh, no, he had a cool mustache. Man, these plants go right into him. This has got some Soma vibes, too, really. Weak points, but no amulet. Okay. So, if I pull out my amulet... Anything in here? Huh. I mean, who are you, dude? I am defeated. There is no way back. There is nowhere to go. I have searched for a portal, but there is none. I have triangulated the weakest points with Levi's calculations, but I cannot tear a rift, for I do not have the Traveler's Amulet. I did not heed Brennenberg's warning. Whoa. That's a name. Brennenberg Castle is the castle of Amnesia 1, but I don't remember if it did belong to a Brennenberg. Yet, what choice did I have? The shadow sensed the orb. I had to risk it all and step through the portal. There was no water and there was no, no other means of sustenance. I will not live long. If you're, if you reader, traveler from wherever world you come, if you've comprehend and if you know enough to speak those of the human world called Earth, let them know this. I was the first to solve the mysteries of the gate builders. I was the first human to breach the boundaries between worlds. I, Professor Thurston, uh, Alois, Aloysius, Aloysius Herbert of Cambridge, of Cambridge, England, was the first. God forgive me. Okay, so those, that's some little plot Excuse details here. Those were the locations of the first amnesia. I wonder if he was one of the people upon, or up, that was a part of like Alexander and Daniel's crew to find the orb. Alright, let's keep looking. It said that my compass was reacting, so over there somewhere. So he found a rift, and he's talking about the gate builders, and he's also talking about there are the dead of this world in here somewhere. So does this just keep pointing, or... Okay, so it, it's not glowing, but it does keep track. Oh, this is... This isn't good. I am not liking this. Anytime lightning flashes revealing a scene, that is bad juju. Alright, 
I'm gonna... I'm gonna put this away for now. Because I'm worried this thing doesn't just find rifts. That feels like that detects monsters, too. I have no basis for this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just clip into that geometry. Okay. Me it's pointing me over here. Okay. Oop. There we are. Let's see what this says. It's working. Levy's calculations applied to measurements clearly show a variance. Yeah. As if there were great centers of attraction which draw all towards them. These must be the weak points that wire, wire, wear, wire, I think it's wire, spoke of. I have identified two good coordinates and one excellent, but I have no means to proceed. The Traveler's Amulet, according to wire, should focus these energies to, and provoke one of the weak points to tear open, forming a rift between this world and another. But I have no amulet. If I remember this... Treaties, treaties, his treaties. Rifts can form without an amulet, but that is down to the alignment of the spheres and their stars. I cannot move the stars. I will find some way. I must. Okay. So using and having an orb can do this too, kind of. Which is why he was able. Whoa! What the? Oh. So that must have been why Alexander was able to open man, or open a portal before. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Hmm. What the hell was that? That was a spook. A spooky boy. A heckin... A heckin' boy -o. Wants to pop me open like a cold one. Okay. Ooh. Now, I don't know if many... They have shown monsters in their promotional art, but I don't know if we know one, uh, what one actually looks like yet, because if I remember correctly, they said that all of the promotional art monsters were just kind of like placeholders or like early concept designs. Sounds like he's way over there. Whew. Uh. Whoa. Were these people just standing around? I'm stuck on something. Oh, look at this. Ooh. He sounds like he's like right up there. I do not like this. Okay, are these... Are, dead. are they dead or are they actual... They look like statues. Ugh. Hello. Mm. It's hard to tell if these things... if those things are going to come to life. If those can be like the monsters. What happened to them? I keep just running into them. Like, I swear, I do not see them until they're like right in my face. Alright, where? I honestly, I don't even know what I'm looking for. Are they even, are they in the sky? Are they those things? Because they sound like they're all around me. Ooh. I 
see a little figure of a person here, and it looks like they have, like, tendrils coming out. Now, let's just keep on going up, I suppose. sources over here, so. Ah, I see that. Okay, how about, uh, how about compass? Oh, yeah. That's where I'm headed. So just... Whoa. That sounded like something teleporting. is over. We've done it. We are saved. Look at this. Everything's right where I remember. Alice in Wonderland, huh? Hmm. Look at these blocks. These funny blokes. Uh. Oh, yes. We have solved this puzzle. By the window, I should get cold. It's not cold. This is normal for Paris. <sighs> All right, I'll get cold. <laughs> All righty, well, registered. Ooh, double registered. Can I? Notice of rejection. Ministry of the Interior, police or place, place bur. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. What kind of rejection? Oh, that's why I sketch. I'm like a freaking architect. I have to remember. Find Selim. Will do. Ugh. They didn't like my designs. Look at all this. We have. Funny man looking at other man through window, butt naked. A classic. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. 
some woman who just ate a stinky cheese. Oh, wow. Cafe. Why is this? Okay. I get all flip turn. I, I forgot a moment I was looking at charcoal or. Food is ready. Oh, can I see? Pencil drawing. It's not finished. Mm. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> what a dork. Hmm. Here's my lesser compass. I was 16, I think. And I must have driven him crazy. But no curfew, no locked doors, just this compass. He said it was so I would always find my way home. I wish I'd my papa. Known him better. <laughs> so do I. Before Papa died in the epic ghost battles of the other dimension. I don't care about the paperwork. This is as official as I need it to be. I love you, Salim. Put the damn ring on. <laughs> oh, my heart. I will put the damn ring on. And you will wear mine. So are these... Why are they not, like, actually married? I'm not understanding what's going on here. Is there, like, a cultural thing with Paris that I've, I've missed? Ooh, everything's getting all... All sticky gooey over here. Ooh. That's a cool filter. I don't even know what's going on here. Oh, I kicked the door open. Hmm. I don't trust this. this chair in the door. Ugh. My sweet, sweet handsome baby. No. You're turning to no, no, goo in my hands. Ghost baby. Is this like Jack-Jack? Oh. Metaphysical baby. Ooh. Oh. There you are. Oh, my baby has grown powerful. He's tearing the fabric of the universe apart. He said his first words. What? Where? Alice? Selim? No. It felt so real. This face. That's Something a face, and you can't tell me otherwise. There's a different. nose and the lips. I feel like I don't fit my Those body. Those are some kiss and lips right oh, there. What the hell? I'm heavy. Mwah. My gut feels like. Oh. oh god. Am I back in the same cave? Ugh. All right. Well. I have no idea if this is even recorded, so I'm going to cut this here. Thank you all for watching. I'm probably going to cut this up. I don't know in how many increments, but we will find out. And I will see you in the next part.